Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Claudia's Lovely Nails. Hey everyone, what's up? You know, a couple months ago there was this trend where you use saran wrap in gel nails to create some sort of design. And today, I will try to conquer that once in upon a time nail trend. Better late than never, right? All right, so first I'm starting off by buffing my natural nails so the gel nails has a smooth surface to stick to and to eliminate any potential ridges. Then I'm going to add these clear nail tips I purchased at the one and only Sally Beauty. Using a hand file, I will shape and form my nails to my liking. And boom, ta-da! I'm going to grab my gel builder and I would like to point out that this is actually my first time wearing gel as well as applying it myself. So this will definitely be an interesting experience. You can't forget about its partner in crime, the trusty gel brush. This was the only gel builder I could find in Sally's. Sally's in my area does not have much options nor much stuff is available. There's, you know, there's not much nail stores around if you think about it. There's hair or wig stores, but seriously, there's no existing store that's dedicated in selling nail products, nail supplies. I don't know, I just find that quite interesting. Moving on, I was told gel has no smell, and it turns out it does not. Well, it, it does have a scent, but it's not as strong as acrylic. And I very much appreciate that since the acrylic basically intoxicates my whole room and, and it's as if I'm stepping into a, a nail salon. And unlike acrylic, gel does not dry nor harden quickly or it doesn't even harden at all. It will harden as soon as you cure it. So I'm taking my time with the application. I first applied a thin layer down to my cuticles and up towards the top. I just dragged the gel and cured it. The second layer, I'm going in with swirly motions and dragging it to build the nail. You can tell right away that the consistency is very different than acrylic. It's much more gooey and much like syrup. Here, I flipped my finger upside down, that way gravity can help form the structure. That's a very helpful tip. I see other people do that, but right now, that's not very beneficial since I'm putting the saran wrap over it and moving the gel builder around. I then cured it for 60 seconds, and when I removed the saran wrap, I was left astonished, you guys. Like, I was amazed when I pulled the saran wrap. Of course, I've seen videos of other people doing this, but when you actually try it yourself and it looks like it's coming out pretty good, it, it's just amazing, and you're left in awe. So yeah, I then applied this gold chrome powder from Sally's. Guys, most of the products I used are from Sally's. And like I said, I don't have a lot of options. I had to choose between a rose gold or the gold. And since my favorite color is yellow, I settled for gold. I applied the chrome powder with the applicator it came with. You know, the applicator used for eyeshadow. I haven't used one of these in ages, you guys. You know, for some reason, the powder was not sticking to my gel. The powder was just falling all over the place and I'm like, oh my god, what is the problem? And guys, I was just simply not pressing it hard enough. But I was 
scared. I didn't want to press it too hard and have it break on the gel structures I so carefully made. And it's a bit hard applying the powder in very narrow places, but you know, I managed. And I'm not sure if you need to cure it right after you apply the chrome powder. I sure did because I wanted to prevent any further powder fallout. Next, I mixed a bit of gel with this blue color. I was having a difficult time deciding what nail polish to mix the gel with. I was trying to avoid using black, red, and white since a lot of people have used these colors. I'm like, what's one color not a lot of people have been using? And I'm like, blue. <laughs> so I haven't seen this combination before, blue and gold much, so that's what I settled for. And, and as I was applying it, I noticed that it started to blend in with the gold chrome. And this is when I was panicking and I'm like, what is going on? Was there some sort of reaction with the blue polish? But no. That's when I realized I did not press the chrome powder hard enough, still. <laughs> and fine, you know what? I don't care if I break the gel structures. I'm kidding. I pressed the chrome onto the nail with the most delicate care and I cured it again. From here, the gel was no longer mixing in with the chrome powder and I was the most happiest human in my house. <laughs> You know, you may notice I am no longer using this gel brush. I'm actually using this cuticle tool. I just didn't want to use the same brush to grab the clear gel builder with the blue polish. But the point I'm trying to make across is that you can literally use anything to form gels. It's pretty cool. Also afterwards, don't forget to cure your nails, BTW. And this is basically what I did for the rest of my nails, except for the rest of the nails, I did end up adding some blue and white flakes into the gel before curing, just to fashionably spice it up a bit.
Alright guys, I'm back. How long has it been? How are y'all doing? Are you guys still there? <laughs> okay, so from here, I'm going to apply the clear gel builder on top of the nail. The reason why I'm doing that, according to my own logic, is that after I, you know, finish applying the gel layer and cure it, I'm going to file it right after, right? So when I file it, I just want it to file the clear layer on top. I don't want it to mess with the blue gel layer inside. So you guys, I ended up falling in love with my nails like this. So this is the end product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you... I'm kidding, you guys. I have a lot of filing to do. Again, this is my first time using gel on my nails. So bear with me. So after curing my nails, my nails were still pretty tacky and sticky. And I'm like, not this again. Is my lamp not working? What's What's happening now? Come on. And I discovered that it's normal. It's expected to happen. The solution is that you just need to wipe your nails with rubbing alcohol. The closest alcohol I had contained 50% alcohol, and that was actually not enough to remove the tackiness on my nail. Apparently, it has to be 70% or more, and thankfully, I was able to get my hands on alcohol with that range. Alright, so from here, I'm going to file my nails. You guys, in my previous video, I mentioned that I was going to invest into some filing tools. And guess what? I'm definitely looking into it. Yay, spending more money. But in the meantime, let me know what your favorite filing tools are and from where. After some pretty long time filing by hand, here we are, all finished. Thank goodness. And now I'm just going to bedazzle my nails. So I'm just going to apply a bit of some gel and add some beads. For this nail, I had the most difficult time figuring out how to place these beads. I tried rearranging them in some type of design and nope, it just was not working out for me until I randomly created this and you know what, this this will do. Alright you guys, there's just one last final step, my most important favorite step of all, the top coat. You know, it just pulls everything together and shines all the hidden little features. Seriously, what would we do without a top coat? Really. And look at my nails, you guys. Whoa, these are so beautiful, you guys. I think this is the most beautiful nails I have ever created. And look at that gold underneath, you guys. I am speechless. It's just so pretty. It's so, so lovely. All right, guys, that's it for these saran wrap nails. These turned out perfect, amazing, and you know what? That comes to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Marbles, don't you think that they should subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that they're notified when I post a new video? <laughs> you see, guys, he agrees. Thanks again, and stay tuned for my next video.